can take it out. Make sure you know where your button is pointing. So that when you put it back in, it's still in time when you put the new one in or if you're rebuilding this one. I don't have the cap on it. It's just still in the truck. I just I was just gonna rebuild this one, but I just got a new one. Okay. You wanna tear it all the way down. The first thing you're gonna have to do is get this pin out right here. Um, yours will not be as easy to get out as mine is right now. I already took mine apart, cleaned it up a little bit. But, uh, you need to get that pin out. Mine's broke. Shouldn't look like this. Then this gear comes off. Now, don't lose this piece here or the washer just below it. You're going to need those if you're going to rebuild it. Put it back together just the way it comes off. Now, if I can get the freaking camera to start falling over. Okay, now, you're now this can just pull right out. Well, yeah, yours won't pull right out. You'll have to smack yours out. Pop that out. Pull it out. There's always baked on oil. There's always baked on oil on here. That's why it's hard to get out. So when you get it out, if you don't have a lot, you don't want to use a lot of brake clean and waste all that and stuff and clean it all up. I just took some sandpaper and just rubbed it right on through a couple times and it's fine. It goes in now. It's now. Um, now, your pickup coil, pickup coil, and okay, it'll be a mine's mine's off an '89. Mine had a square clip. What whatever one you took off, put that kind back on. There'll be new ones with the kit. Um, like I said, mine was square, but it doesn't really matter what. I just lost it, so I can't show you, but it's a little copper housing piece, pickup coil, and then there's this little pin here. I didn't take it completely apart, but there's that little pin in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's a little pin here that keeps, when you put it back together, if you take this piece off too, make sure you put that pin down enough that this, the new pickup coil... Yeah, you can see mine's junk. Sits nice and flat, nice and flush. And then you just put it back together right the way you had it taken off. When you put this gear back on, if I can get it in a video here. There's this little dot in indent there. With the, lines up with the pinhole. What, what you want to do is line that up with line that up with the button side that actually makes contact. Not not the back side. Not the back side here this side. Line it up with that. So. And then put your new pin or old pin, whatever you want to do there and put it back together. I forgot to mention was that the reason I was replacing mine was first off that pickup coil looked terrible. And these uh you can't see them. The 
this little stars in here is, and the, and the ones on around the edge the points they're not supposed to make contact mine does well it did until it got all busted up so the nail is nice and smooth and you can feel a little magnet hold it in places it shouldn't touch, it shouldn't hit. The first thing I should have covered was taking it out. Lovely. Taking it out. But, I didn't. Now we're... <laughs> oh. It's amazing that something like that just disappears too quick. Sucks, but we ain't freaking stupid. Yeah, just freaking do it. Not on purpose, of course. There it is. Okay, put that back. Should have had a video on it coming out, but I didn't. So tough. But pulling it out is not as hard as I can't really say it's not as hard as putting it back in. It's like the same. But at any rate, if you're going to pull a distributor, um, on 4th gen Chevrolet SBC, small block Chevrolet, mine's a 350, the way the clip works is it sits so my distributor sits back like this, and in the clip, Holds it down like, like this. Okay, a little, like, forks here. It's bent. Put the bend down. So it clamps on it. And, well, you can see that it's going to be kind of hard to get to that bolt. So what I have here, for, for what works for me is I got a, um, I have I have a 14 crow's foot, but uh, what would be the equivalent of that? Probably a 916 is probably what size that is. Um, it's probably standard. But you're gonna need crow's foot. So some some get up like this. This this is what works for me. I got three. Let's see what's that nine inch nine inch extension. Now when I took my distributor off, it was pointing to number eight. So I'm gonna put it back pointing to number eight. So make sure you make note of that on yours when you take yours out. You don't want to get it all out of time and mess something up. It's no fun. Look at that. Okay. Let's start with putting that clamp on. You probably can't see me doing. But remember, the fork bends downward towards the bottom of the engine. Watch some other guy put this together, and it didn't didn't hold with his new housing, and he thought his housing was the wrong size. Yada yada. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. I think he just had the clip upside down. Clamp, whatever you want to call it. Life would have been easier if I'd left that cap off too. You leave the cap up, this gives you another inch for your hand to get around it. This makes life a little bit easier. Just gonna move that hose out of my way. There's the transmission vacuum. Part of how it knows how to shift. If you don't know. You want to learn more? Look it up, because I'm not an expert, and I'm not really positive that's even what that is. Pretty sure, because it is by vacuum, it's not electronic like these new ones. So, Turbo Hydromatic 400, nothing spectacular, but definitely gets the job done. So 
Sorry, my hand's in the way for everything. Whatever. Gotta get work done. Okay, this is not gonna don't make it real tight. That just makes a bad day. Alright. So if you just got these out of the box, your shortest shortest wire is gonna go from your coil coil to the middle. Make sure you hear that click. That's what you want to hear. I didn't put that one on, that's been on there. So. And then I'm gonna follow one, eight, four, three, six. Five, seven, two, one, eight, yada yada, all the way around. So, looking at the engine from the outside, I'm on my. Hold up. Okay, if you're looking at the engine from the outside, in. So you're down off the truck, out here. This side's odds, this side's even. Number one is closest to you. This one's number one. One, three, five, seven. Now on the other side, to the back one all the way back there, eight, six, four, two, closest. So we'll take my number one cylinder is already plugged in. Mine's still already plugged in, so it makes it a little easier for me, but maybe a little harder. I don't know. Not the same. But if you get unsure of the firing order, you don't have to go through all these videos or anything. It should be right on your engine. Oh, your flat parts of the flat parts of the uh, plugs or the wires. If you if you took them all off at once and you just don't know, they go up here on the on the distributor cap. The rounded off sides here. These see the difference? These go on the plug. Sure, when you put them on, you feel and hear that click. Something I didn't, I didn't know that last time was the sides of the plugs. Dumb mistake. I don't know if it really made a big difference, but it could have. Just take your time, go around, do it right, do it right the first time. Double check everything. And you got no problems. It's on there. Okay. Now the last one should be two. Whatever one your last one is, you're pretty sure. Just, just double check. Just, just make sure. I could be wrong. I mean, it's not likely, but it could be. I'm gonna follow it all the way back. Two should be all the way forward. And it is. Nice clean click. 